How's it going everybody? It's Prod here, back again with another Dark Souls 3 video. Today I am going to be using the Crow Quills. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest, I fucking suck with these weapons. I don't know what it is, I've always been very, very bad with rapiers. And considering this is a claw rapier hybrid, then we're bound to do extra shit. But people wanted to see it, because it is one of the new weapons. Not only is it one of the new weapons, but it's one of the coolest and most unique of the weapons having a really fucking awesome move set which i'm not 100 percent familiar with so i guess not only will this be uh, good for me to uh practice with these weapons that i suck very much with but you guys want to see it as well so let's get right into it oh god we're gonna do so bad today i just fucking know it i just know we're gonna do bad oh hey look it's our first opponent who will beat us i'll just buff this shit up what do you got there what weapon you got there Kind of throw him off guard a couple times. Oh, fuck. I chose the worst time. Oh, that's gonna... Holy shit. I know this thing has the biggest, uh... The most crit at the moment. Too far away for that. Too far away for that second hit. Damn it. I need to learn the range for that one. There we go. God damn, that crit. Oh my god, that was 900 with no... No fucking ring, dude. This thing does have the highest crit, I believe, at 130, which is fucking crazy. This thing plus the Hornet ring. Ah, uh, I, I don't even want to fucking know, man. I don't even want to know. That shit would be crazy, but we won our first game. Not bad. Got a nice backstab off of him. So I don't feel like, you know, it was kind of earned. And of course, I am on the Kid Snatcher, because this is my more dexterity-focused character. It's pretty cool this weapon is, uh, as scaling. Oh, and he has those claws. All right, let's fucking do it, man. Let's get right into it. I need to be careful with those claws, man. Nice fucking point, dude. Your claws were hanging off there a bit. Damn it. Wow, that did... How much damage did that do? That did 150 for the little knife? How the fuck did that do 150? Shit, he saw that clearly, dude. He's going in for the parry. I see he's going in for the parry. I need to hit him with the fucking... The poke after that, dude. That does a lot of damage. Send does pretty nice damage too, like the regular rapier itself. Oh, I can't fucking hit him with that. Come on, fucking fall for it already. He does have his fucking pairing tool out. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the parry, because I knew it was going to come. So I didn't want to be too fucking rushy and do like, spam the shit out of running attacks. I would have gotten the shit parried out of me. Anyways, GG to that guy who's using the, uh, the talons, I believe they're called. That thing's weapon art is fucking disgusting, man. It's probably so fucking sick on a bleed build. And of course, if you guys want to see any of the DLC weapons, for the next week I will be only doing DLC weapons, so be sure to leave that in the comment section down below, and, uh, I'll probably get to it very soon. Alright, who do we got here? Serial Medusa. What a weird name. That's like one of those names Xbox gives you. I'm starting to believe that's what this guy did. Oh man, that was not a great trade, and I panic rolled. Fuck. I panic rolled so hard there. No! Damn it, yeah, that was it. Fuck. These weapons against like a big weapon with a lot of hyper armor. Yeah, there's just no fucking way, man. There's no fucking way. Shit. Serial Medusa got me, and he's fast asleep there. I wasn't even a challenge for him. Give Serial Medusa a proper foe, man. What are you doing, Arena? Popping him in with me? He wants a real fucking challenge, not the Kid Snatcher. What the hell is this shit? Tears! We got a tears! Shit! This guy about to cry real fucking tears after I show my fucking little rapier. Probably not. Is he gonna parry? Yeah, there's a parry. No. Didn't think it was gonna go that way. There we go. Oh. 
Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> There's a parry again. Oh shit, no stamina. That's not great. I didn't want to do that. Fuck. Will that finish him off? I will finish him off, but I don't know if I'll be able to hit him with it. Oh! Oh my- Oh my god, what? I had one health! <laughs> oh my god, I had one fucking health. That is the first time I have ever played a match where I ended it with one health. There's no fucking way. The gods are smiling upon me today. Damn, I fucking suck though, man. To get down to one damn health against somebody who's being so predictable, I just suck with these weapons. I feel like I should have done so much better, but I'm, I'm fucking awful with these things. After I finish this video, I'm gonna turn them right on myself. Commit suicide with them. I'm gonna try using that. God damn, that high as fuck damage, man. Oh shit, you can't parry that one, dude. You can't parry that one. Oh, fuck. I had hyper armor left, so I was able to get away, luckily. There we go. GG. I got lucky with hitting him in the face. I think, honestly, the Leo ring might work towards those little knives. A couple games ago, I hit the dude in the face with the knives when he attacked, and I did, like, 150 damage or something like that. That would be fucking crazy, too. If you do go up against somebody with, like, maybe cloth armor clothy armor it does good damage but if you go up against a tank this shit it like bounces right off of them might as well not hit them i need to learn the proper combos with this thing i have very rarely used a left bumper because i feel like the left bumper just kind of sucks dude i don't know that's just me the fuck did you just do use iron flesh on yourself oh fuck jesus I got a couple of those too. Except mine does, you know, 13 damage. Oh shit, I fucking saw that one coming right there. What happened to my hit? Just chase him down. Just chase him down. I can't hit him. No. I couldn't fucking hit him there. There we go. Oh my fucking god, dude. What the fuck was that? He might as well have been a fucking turret. God damn, man. I was trying to hit him a couple times with my bombs, but then I would just trade and he would do like 300 damage to me. And I would hit him with like 150. Maybe not 300. Maybe around 250. I wonder what is uh the best buff for this thing. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Dark Moonblade follower fucking saber, dude? Really? If that is the follower saber, which I very much think it is, it is indeed the follower saber and he is lagging like I've never seen anyone lag before. I guess I've seen worse. Can't parry that one, Bowie. You can't parry that one. Just gonna do the oh my god he's lagging too, which is fucking scary. He's not really coming towards me. <laughs> that one worked. Oh my fucking god, dude, Dark Moon Blade Saber! But he was so laggy that I was just walking back and he couldn't catch up to me. I guess that wouldn't really mean he can't catch up to me considering on his screen he's probably not lagging. That was fucking scary though. When you see the follower saber, that's scary enough. Seeing that shit get buffed with Darkmoon Blade? Uh, n no thank you. I'm kind of curious for the, uh, for this weapon, do you guys use the left bumper attack more than the right bumper attack? At least you start things off? Because I have really yet to use it. I've used it a couple of times. Oh no, is this guy? Okay, I thought it was the follower saber guy again. I was a little bit scared. I'm rearing to go. Let's fucking do it. Oh, that's a nice attack. That's the right bumper into the left bumper. Doesn't do as much as the regular two right bumpers, though. There we go. GG. Fuck, that move catches people off guard a lot, man. Damn. Alright, I'm 
kind of getting a hang of these weapons a bit. You know, I'm kind of getting used to it a bit. I see the potential in them. I see they have very good potential for duels. Like, they can probably be freaking crazy in the right hands. Sadly, those hands are not mine. Snooty Water 86. It's a weird fucking name. Big damage, man. If you get people on the counter with that, that's like almost 500 right there, dude. Shit, I always use the wrong fucking times to attack. He did like no damage to me. What the hell was that all about? I thought he might have rolled towards me. The fuck was that, dude? Now you're gonna go fucking plunged! Nah, nah, I was gonna. What the fuck? I was spamming B and I couldn't get out. What is up with his weapons? They're doing no damage. They're doing absolutely no damage to me. What is that? Dude, he hit me like three times and I lost that much health with ultra great weapons. What the fuck? He must have not had him upgraded very far. Why the hell did I get matched up with him then if he doesn't have those? Oh, he must have one plus ten weapon. It's possible that he had one plus ten weapon and the other weapons that he was trying to use were much less than that. Because that was like no damage at all. Even though this weapon is alright, I don't know how much I like it. Because I think the best part about it is that it's, you know, it's got a little rapier on the side. It's a cool weapon, but I don't know if it's the right weapon. I prefer Valor Hard, to be honest. Alright, he might be switching to something else, so I'll let him switch if he wants to switch. Hmm, okay. What do you, uh... Praise the sun there. Good for you. Alright, let's do it. Fuck, that was the worst time to do that. I wasn't able- to, I wasn't even able to hit him with the... The rolling left bumper attack is not great. I wanted the second hit, not the fucking little knives. Oh, holy shit, that counter damage, though. God damn, man. That was 500 with one fucking right bumper hit? Really? Why was that so high? Young Otaku 9000. I'm not gonna try to plunge him. I bet he saw that one coming. Even that did less damage. What the? F oh my god! I couldn't move. I couldn't fucking move. God damn it, man. Young Otaku 999 got me. There's 998 more of them. Well, to be honest, his name was Young Otaku, so there's probably hundreds of thousands of them. Hey, top thousand, though. GG. I'll probably go ahead and play, um, uh, we'll say one more, and, uh, that'll probably be it for this video. I think my character's asleep. The fuck? Alright, what do we have? Ooh, a washing pole. And then a follower saber now. This guy's got, like, the two most OP weapons. On a bleed fucking build, too? Shit, man. This is gonna be a bad one. Ah, oh, it didn't do as much damage as I hoped it would have. Is that Goddard's? Nice one, dude. I think he went the wrong way there, though. Chase him down. Shit! What happened to the backstep tactics? I thought maybe he might have followed me there. There we go. GG blocker. I guess he kind of uh, was true to his name. He was using a shield and he was blocking. So therefore you can call him the blocker. The man who blocks. That guy had like three of the most OP weapons. Not OP, but three of the strongest weapons. Fucking Goddard's, Washing Pole, and Follower Saber. It's a deadly combo right there. But anyways guys, that is going to uh, do it here for today's video with the Crow Quills. Not too great with them. To be honest, I'll probably, even right after this video, continue playing with them. And see if I could get better. Maybe I'll come back and do another video in the future with them. Because I'm not too great with them. They are pretty uh, damn great weapons in my opinion. I feel like they have a lot of potential to be really good in duels. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace everybody.